Okay, hi everybody, this is Strider and now we're gonna have a new tutorial on UFE, this time about making custom stages. Now, making custom stage can be really tricky, but it's actually quite easy. So let's see exactly what we need to make for custom stage. So here I am, I have this basic setup. This is a new uh, tutorial, uh, a new Unity project I I made, which uh, which is basically UFE right out of the box. You see, right here, it has nothing too special. It's exactly UFE when you just in, you just install it in Unity. In Unity, all right. So now let's make our custom stage. As you know, uh, UFE uses prefabs. No, basically a prefab is kind of a folder. Uh, it's a lot of assets put together that can be called directly using code. So basically everything in, in UFE is, is a prefab. The characters are prefabs, um, the stage of prefabs, the graphic user interface are prefabs, and the stage, well, of course, are prefabs too. So first. Let's open our UFE config file. You can search it just writing here UFE. And now we can select window UFE and show global editor. And here we can edit a lot of things for our game project. All right. So here it is stages. Let's click it here. And by default, UFE comes with only one stage. In this case, training stage. All right. So we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a new stage. So basically, what we need to do is take the training stage, create a copy of it, or create a, a new prefab, and then we can make a, a new stage from it. So the first thing we're gonna do is locate this prefab we can click here and here it shows or we can write here training and here it is no training room this is the prefab that is the stage that it's in UFE by default all right now what we need to know about stages is that what makes them work is just a empty or transparent 3d plane that it's in a certain layer within unity all right so let me explain this to you let's select our prefab and drag it here in hierarchy that way its position rotation scale is perfect and now here you can see it has a mesh renderer some materials but here in hierarchy we can open it up and it will show us that it has its 3D model, a couple of directional lights, and this is the most important part for a stage, the plane, you see? So basically, let's zoom it in, and the plane is normally invisible, but if we click it, it's that, it's just a plane without a material but here in the spectre we can see that the layer it, it, it's in it's in ground level this is a special layer that comes in UFE you can add more layers if you want but this is the important stuff that it needs to be in ground so the characters can collide with it and they won't fall through the floor all right so what we're gonna do all we have to do is, for example, here that we have a training room here in hierarchy. Let's just click and drag the plane. It will tell us that we're gonna break our prefab. Let's just say continue because we can select our prefab and erase it. We haven't saved the changes we've made in this play. In this case, taking out the plane. All right. So if we select our training room again. It still has its plane okay so let's just erase it so now we have a plane and this position is extremely important you have to keep this so all 
new stages you make will work fine. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to game object and create empty. Basically what this does is that this is kind of a, a, a folder, it's an empty object. So let's change its position to default 0, 0, 0, alright? And here is the play. Now this game object let's just change its name to so maybe custom stage one and we're gonna drag our plane inside it. Okay? So now we need to drag this to our assets so it becomes an prefab. So let's look for the stages folder inside UFE assets here it is stages and we can drag it from hierarchy to stages and now it's a prefab it has basically nothing except the plane but this enough well this alone is enough to make it work as a stage so we can delete it here now because we have our prefab here let's go to global let's go to create a new stage here and it asks for a prefab so let's just drag custom stage here let's give it a name custom1 and important and a screenshot in this case let's choose the same as training room and let's copy these same values of left and right this is basically how far you can go to one side or another side of the stage let's keep it that way and now let's run our game versus versus CPU select a character another character and here we have training room but if I press down here is my custom stage let's select it and as you can see the characters won't fall down as the stage as the plane is here but basically there's absolutely nothing else but this is the bare basics of a stage so now let's give it some elements to make it well look like a stage all right but in its bare bones now it's working so what we can do let's select a custom stage bring it up here to hierarchy and we can add some objects so we have uh, some visuals let's go to game object 3D object, a cube for example, let's make it big, 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 mm, a little bigger, so where's our plane, our plane is right here, so let's put our cube here, right below our plane so it look it will look like the the all characters are in this but basically the plane it's all that keep them together no? let's make it a bit bigger all right and let's add for example another object like a sphere big 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 sphere all right All right, it's pretty, pretty, pretty basic. But now, let's drag all these objects we've made to our custom stage. All right, and let's add a light. There's no light here, so let's go to game object, light, directional light. Well, 
it's here the position doesn't really matter, it's the interpretation. And let's make it a less a little left in depth. Alright. And the direction of light, let's put it inside our custom stage 2. So we've made some changes to our prefab, so let's just go here to the inspector and press apply. This way all this now is part of our prefab. And now it will launch our game again. And here it is, as you can see, here are our objects. It looks quite bad. I'm sorry. It's way too big. Let's let's uh, fix it now. And here it is. It looks a lot better now. I added a, um, shadows to the light. We have to tell the light that it has cast shadows. All the object has shadows, and as you can see, we have now a custom stage. It was really easy to set up just by knowing that all you need to have a custom stage is that plane. That plane in the ground layer is basically what makes a stage. Everything else is a aesthetic thing, but of course, fighting games are in much of in most of the cases all about graphics so i hope uh, it was useful and let's i'm gonna see you in the next tutorial soon